Every project that utilizes a display or projection system requires some basic design considerations to guarantee a good customer experience. This is true in huddle spaces or small conference rooms as well as large venues, like a lecture hall or auditorium. Now, it cannot be overstated how important it is to understand the lighting conditions in the space. Are there windows that allow sunlight to stream in the room? Is there bright overhead lighting? What is the overall brightness in the space? Well, from there it can be determined whether these lighting conditions are present at the location of the display's viewing surface. Now, once you know this information, it's easy to determine the ideal technology to recommend for the space. Now, I'll show you how. Ambient light is the enemy of any display because it dramatically reduces the perceived contrast between lights and darks. This makes it harder to see details of any kind. So as the ambient lighting grows brighter, the brightness of the display must be increased accordingly. Now I'll show you how easy it is to determine the required brightness of any display product that you might select. You can use an app on your smartphone to measure the ambient light at the display screen location. This should give you a value in lux. You multiply the lux value by the number of square meters in the screen. Just multiply the screen width by the height and divide by 10.764, then multiply by the lux reading. Multiply this number by 3. This is the lowest lumens value that would be acceptable for a projector on a screen with a gain of 1. Assuming, of course, no ambient light will be striking the projection screen. So let's look at an example. Now I've measured the light at the screen location at 300 lux. My 110 inch screen is 4.5 feet by 8 feet. So I multiply the width by the height to get 36 and divide by 10.764 to get the screen area in square meters, which comes out to 3.34. Now I multiply that area by the lux reading of 300 and get 1002. I then multiply 1002 by 3 to get the projector that I need, which roughly is a 3000 lumens projector. Now, if direct light from the windows or the fixtures are going to hit the screen, cross projection off of your list. Next, we'll calculate the required value for an LCD or an LED display. Now, you take the lux value from your light meter app and divide by pi, which is 3.1416, to get the value in nits. Now this is the lowest acceptable brightness output from an LCD or LED display that you might select for this space. To check your calculations to see how well they work in a given space, here's an easy way to measure how a viewer will perceive the display. Now make sure that all the lighting is on and the window shades are open, just as the worst case scenario might be for the room. Then place a blank sheet of bright white paper on the table at the center of the viewing area. Now, using your smartphone app, measure the ambient light reading that's reflecting off of that paper. Divide the number by pi and multiply the results by 3. Now, this is the brightness value that your recommended display should provide. Now, let's do an exercise to show you how this is done for an LCD display. I've placed my bright white cardstock on the table. My reflected light measurement is 400 lux. So I'll divide 400 by pi, or 3.1416, which gives me 127 nits. Then I multiply this number by 3 to get 381 nits. Now what this tells me is that I need a display that is around 381 nits. So this should help you better understand how to determine the proper display brightness for any space.